What is up y'all, it's your boy Dervin Negative and I've been doing another video and in this video I'm going to give you my predictions for WWE's Smackdown Fastlane 2018 pay-per-view. Now let's get right into it, right? Uh, first things first, I don't think this pay-per-view is going to have a pre-show match and whatever, right? I could be wrong about it, they probably announced it on Twitter or whatever, like they do sometimes or whatever. You'll either have Daniel Bryan or Shane McMahon announce it on Twitter, so that's the thing, right? Not unless the match I'm going to talk about right now is on the pre-show or whatever even though they haven't said it but you know they kind of threw it together so it might be that so this match consists of a women's tag team match which is becky lynch and naomi going against natalia and miss money in the bank carmella now in this match i'm going with the faces you know the good guys and whatever which is becky lynch and naomi for those of you that don't know and the reason for that is because, you know, Carmella's the Money in the Bank, you know, Miss Money in the Bank winner and whatever, and, you know, they're gonna do, probably take her out, her arm and whatever, you know, I mean, either the Disarmor or I believe Feel the Glow is a arm move too, which I believe is Naomi's submission finish move and whatever, so, you know, Carmella's gonna like, kind of fake an injury and whatever, go back, you know, holding her arm and whatever, and... One of two things going to happen, either nobody's going to think anything of it, or everybody's going to expect, you know, the cash-in or whatever. Now, if you're expecting the cash-in, it's probably not going to happen. If you don't think nothing of it, then that's when it's going to happen and whatnot, right? The rumor is she's supposed to be cashing in at WrestleMania, so that's the thing or whatever, right? But if they really wanted to surprise everybody, they would have her cash in at Fastlane. So that's the thing. So... As far as this match, your winners here are Becky Lynch and Naomi. Next, we have a, I guess, grudge match? I, I don't know. Like They just kind of threw this together, too, where you have the winner of the male's Royal Rumble, 2018 Royal Rumble. You have Shinsuke Nakamura going against Rusev. You know, Rusev Day. And, you know, he's going to have his tag team partner, Aiden English, in his corner and whatnot, right? I kind of feel bad for Rusev, I gotta admit, you know what I mean, like, I, I'm really digging the new gimmick or whatever, I like Rusev, like, a while, whatever, like, I felt bad for him when, like, that time where he lost to John Cena and Randy Orton within a month and whatever, so, that's the thing and whatever, and, you know, ain't no way in hell he's beating Shinsuke Nakamura in this match, you know what I'm saying, it right now, because, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura is on a roll, he won the Royal Rumble, and let alone, the last guy he threw out the Royal Rumble was the big dog, you know, um, Roman Reigns or whatever. Like, who would have thought that, you know? Once you saw Shinsuke Nakamura and Roman Reigns being the last two people in the ring, I guarantee, like, maybe 95% of the people thought that Roman Reigns was going to win. Including myself, like, I actually thought it. Like, as soon as I saw that, I was like, oh, God, like, why? But, you know, happy day, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura won that. And, you know, he's going to win this. And go on to WrestleMania to face the phenomenal one AJ Styles. Have that rematch from New Japan Pro Wrestling and just have an epic match. They're going to steal the show because as of right now, the matches that they see, they're they seeming to have at WrestleMania, what, are, what is rumored right now and which has been confirmed, like, seem like this is going to steal the show. It's going to be the best match of the night. So that's the thing. But yeah, your winner here is going to be Shinsuke Nakamura. Next match is for the WWE SmackDown Live Women's Title. And we have the champion. Charlotte Flair going against Ruby Riot with the Riot Squad, which is Liv Morgan and Sa Sarah Logan. Damn, I almost botched her name. Sarah Logan. Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, in this match, I'm going to have to go with uh, Charlotte Flair, obviously, you know what I mean? But I have two scenarios that's going to happen after this match, right? Obviously, Charlotte Flair is going to, like, win, you know, either scenario, and, you know, she's going to be the champion. But the first scenario, and this tells you what's going to happen to Carmella here, right? Well, if the Riot Squad, which, you know, they tend to do this, if they beat down Charlotte Flair and whatever, just take her out after the match and whatever, Carmella's cashing in. But if they attempt it and, you know, Charlotte Flair basically escapes or if she has help, like from Becky Lynch, Naomi, or even Carmella maybe, you know, you never know. Like, if anything like that happens, then, you know, obviously Carmella's not cashing in. You know, that's a thing. But, you know, beat down, she's getting cashed in on. Um, if she escapes, not getting cashed in on. So that's the thing. You're winning here. And still, WWE Smackdown Live Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. 
Next we have a match for the SmackDown Live Tag Team Titles. We have the champions, the Usos, Jimmy and Jay Uso going against the New Day, which is either one of the three of Big E, Kofi Kingston, and Xavier Woods. If you ask me, I'd rather it be Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. I think they kind of mesh together more with the Usos and whatever, you know, like, not that I'm crapping on Big E and whatever, but Big E is a power guy and, you know, he really doesn't match the Usos per se and whatever, right? So, that's the thing and whatever. As for who I picked to win this match, I'm gonna have to go with the New Day. Because New Day rocks. New Day rocks. Nah, not really, right? The reason I'm saying that the New Day is gonna win this match is because they've been hinting at it for the longest or whatever. That the Bludgeon Brothers, you know, Harper and Rowan, you know, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, from, formerly from the Wyatt family or whatever, they're gonna go for the tag team titles eventually, you know, and possibly at WrestleMania. So that's probably gonna be the, you know, a WrestleMania uh, pre show match because, you know, they tend to crap on the tag team titles and whatever. Although the Uso said they wanna be on the actual show. So it's either gonna be like the pre show. Or the actual show where you're going to have the New Day versus the Bludgeon Brothers, right? And the reason for this is because, you know, back when they had the New Day versus the Wyatt family, they kind of tried to do, and they failed at it in my honest opinion, you know, light versus dark, good versus evil, positivity versus negativity. They tried to do that sort of thing, but it really didn't work now. I do believe it probably worked now or whatever because like I, I'm kind of digging the gimmick or whatever of the Legend Brothers so that's a thing but regardless your winners at Fastlane and new WWE SmackDown Live Tag Team Champions the New Day. Next we have a match for the WWE United States title we have the glorious Bobby Roode putting his title on the line against the Apex Predator the Viper Randy Orton. Now you know this title is the only title Randy Orton has never had. You know what I mean? So you think with that mentality, okay, Randy's going to win this match or whatever and squash the quote-unquote rookie even though, you know, Bobby Roode's not a rookie. He's been wrestling for years and whatever. But as far as, like, does it be? He's a rookie. You know, kind of like they did AJ, Kevin Owens, and whatever. They called them rookies. But, you know, with that said, though, I think the total opposite, and I think Bobby Roode, is actually gonna like defeat Randy Orton or whatever. Maybe have a heel turn and whatever, you know, that that's a thing, you know, that's kinda doing whatever, you know. So that's the thing. Yeah, one here and still the glorious United States champion, Bobby Roode. And finally we have our main event of the evening and that is a six pack challenge. Now I don't know if it's a elimination or, you know, one fall to a finish or whatever. I do believe it is an elimination. And that's why we're basically missing two, like one or two matches on the pay-per-view, whatever it is. You know, pay-per-views tend to be seven to eight matches and whatever. So I believe this match is going to go long or whatever. Anyway, six-pack challenge for the WWE title. And that consists of the champion, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, John freaking Cena, which I don't even know why they put him in this match. I was okay with the five-way. You know what I mean? I wasn't thrilled about it, but I was okay with a five-way. This whole storyline with John Cena, you know, he has to go to WrestleMania and whatever. Dude, all he has to do is do an open challenge and boom, you're at WrestleMania. Like, who cares? You know what I mean? Like, this storyline makes no sense. You're John freaking Cena. It's like The Rock coming back and says he wants a match, you know. They're automatically going to give him a match. You know, John Cena automatically going to get a match. But they're playing it off like, if John Cena loses this, he doesn't have a match at WrestleMania, which is stupid. But, uh, yeah, anyway, I digress. It's the phenomenal AJ Styles, which is a champion, versus John Cena, versus Kevin Owens, versus Sami Zayn, versus the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin, versus the show off, Dolph Ziggler. And this match, obviously, you know, I'm gonna go with AJ Styles. He has that, you know, match you know pending with um Shinsuke Nakamura at Wrestlemania and whatever it's a money maker and you know Vince loves the money or whatever you know th this is gonna, what's gonna sell Wrestlemania or whatever everything else on that I don't think it's gonna cut it you know I mean you have Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle going against Triple H and you know Stephanie like you know it's 
Ronda Rousey's debut match, whatever, right? You have um, allegedly John Cena versus either The Undertaker or Rey Mysterio. You know, like John Cena versus Rey Mysterio, I think it's a dumb idea. They should not do that. John Cena versus The Undertaker, too little, too late. You know what I mean? They're probably going to pull off a good match, but at this point, who cares? You know what I mean? And I forget whatever else they have for WrestleMania, but. You know, AJ Styles versus Nakamura, that's going to be the show theater. That's that's going to be the main event. Like, I don't care where they place it on the pay-per-view. In my mind, that's the main event of the evening. You know what I mean? At WrestleMania. But, uh, yeah, y'all, you know what I mean? Comment down below and tell me, uh, you know, your predictions for this pay-per-view and whatever. Do you feel the same as I do? Do you feel differently and whatever? And, uh... Yeah, y'all like this video if you like it, and yeah, like this video if you like this whole new setup or whatever. I got a green screen now, and whatever. You know, I'm showing my face with this, um, you know, new deal that I do with uh, game footage and whatever. So like this video if you like the new like style that I'm doing and whatever. And subscribe if you ain't subscribed already. Until next time, y'all. Peace. <laughs>